Atheists love to say, you don't need religion to have morals. If you can't determine right from wrong, then you lack empathy, not religion. Now, let me be very clear. I don't think you have to be a Christian to know the difference between good and evil. Well, there's something you don't hear a religious person say particularly often. Maybe we're making progress. Let's do this. <laughs> Greetings, fellow space travelers. Bionic Dance here. And yep, we're dealing with State of Daniel again. And he has a few things to say about morality that we should examine. Atheists, for example, are very capable of doing good in this world, even though they don't believe in God. In fact, you don't even have to read the Bible to know the difference between good and evil. You know, it would probably do everybody a favor if the word evil wasn't thrown around so casually in discussions like this one. It's rather more, shall we say, bombastic than is warranted by the unpleasant things that people do. Words like bad or wrong are far more appropriate for describing things like theft or murder. Evil describes, say, Hitler or Darth Vader. See the difference? Early Christians, for instance, didn't have a Bible, and millions of people around the world have never been exposed to the gospel, yet all of those people still have a moral compass. We'll get to this later, but why do you suppose there is so much variation to what people are willing to call good or bad? Why does North on the moral compass seem to be in a different place for so many people? However, what I've said over and over in my videos is that I believe, and it's okay if you disagree, that the existence of good and evil is entirely dependent upon the existence of God. So if there is no God, people would just behave with neutral indifference? They wouldn't help their fellows, they wouldn't hurt them either, everyone would be in a perpetual state of meh. Whatever. How does that make any sense? Why would a god be required for people to behave like jerks or paragons of virtue? Or do you mean that a god is required to be able to recognize something as good or bad? Well, that makes just as little sense. I know when someone's actions will hurt, and I know when mine will, and I recognize the unspoken pact of mutual non-aggression necessary to keep us from murderous chaos. How is a god required for that? If the universe is the result of a random Big Bang... Okay, you religion-y types really need to stop calling the Big Bang and the universe random. Just because something wasn't deliberate doesn't mean that it happened by chance. Even a layman's understanding of the laws of physics will show that the universe is actually very, very regular and predictable. It only seems random because of its complexity. So stop calling it random. It makes your arguments invalid right from the start and makes you look like grade-A schmucks. If the universe is the result of a random Big Bang without any god or creator behind it, then any morals that exist are something that we as humans created. And? That's not an argument for or against anything. It's just a statement, one I see theists use all the time as if it is an argument, as if human-created morality is just unpalatable. Therefore, God. This boils down to nothing more than saying you don't like it, therefore the alternative must be true. And you're gonna have to do better than that. One of my atheist viewers left a comment trying to explain morality without God this way. Evil is anything that purposefully hinders human life, and good is that which promotes it. Now, that makes sense. It sounds sensible, and I'm sure most of you would agree with that. Do you agree with that statement? Surprisingly enough, I don't agree with that. If nothing else, it's a very humanocentric view, and I think morality needs to extend beyond just humankind. Because if so, I'd like you to stay tuned for the next two minutes. Because I want to ask you, what about Hitler? With that definition, you could claim that Hitler was not evil. In fact, you could claim that Hitler was good. Yes, yes, you could claim that. And other people could say, nah, -uh. it's an imperfect world where people hold different viewpoints and opinions. And no matter how much that might scare you, tough. Now, without objective morality or without God, who are you to say that Hitler is evil? I'm someone who doesn't particularly feel like being slaughtered. I'm someone who thinks that if I don't like being slaughtered, probably lots of other people wouldn't either. And it might be in our mutual self-interest to prevent anybody from doing so. That's who I am. I don't need objective morality for that. 
All I need is empathy and a sense of self-preservation, because that's what morality really is, self-defense. And who is your god to say that something is good or evil? If your god sided with Hitler, would you go along with it? If your god said to go out and exterminate one race or another, would you say that's good just because god said so? And don't give me any crap about how god wouldn't say that. 1 Samuel 15.3 Now go and smite Amalek, and utterly destroy all that they have, and spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. Deuteronomy 7.2 And when the Lord your God has delivered them over to you, and you have defeated them, then you must destroy them totally, make no treaty with them, and show them no mercy. God's a bit of a bloodthirsty bastard. So would you go along with that just because because God said it? Would you? Or does your morality actually defy God's word? Does it transcend religion? Just how far are you willing to take your belief that good and evil require God to exist? Now, I know some of you are going to say that morality is common sense or morality is something agreed upon by society, essentially majority rules. But that argument falls flat. For example, if you believe that women are equal to men, if you believe that gays should get married, then you're actually in the minority. Because if you look at countries like India or countries in South America, Africa, and the Middle East, the rest of the world thinks that women are inferior to men and that gays shouldn't get married. I hope you realize how dishonest this argument is. Because if someone were to say that morality is a majority rule social convention, they're not talking about the entire human population. We're talking about majority rules within specific cultures. Majority opinion here in the Pacific Northwest is different from the majority opinion in the Southern United States. But the morality of those majorities in those places, in those cultures, tends to be the prevailing view. Surely you understand this. I hope you understand this, because then at least your argument would be a lie rather than naive or stupid. I think I'd actually prefer it if you were a liar, because at least then your mind might be able to be changed. So who's to say that we're right when the rest of the world says otherwise? And this, of course, is the root of the problem. You're demanding that there be one correct answer for everybody. And while I can understand the appeal and comfort in such an idea, it might just be that we're all improvising, that there is no one single right answer, and that's just tough nuggies. Are you willing or able to accept such a notion, even as a possibility? In short, without God, morality is all relative. It would be meaningless because you could make morality be whatever you want it to be. What do you mean, without God? How would God make that state of affairs any different? If morality is all relative, then Nazi Germany uh, killing hundreds of thousands of innocent minorities is no more guilty than a lion eating a lamb for lunch. Unless enough of us decide that it is and fight back which we did. Where exactly was God in that equation? Why would we need one to reach the conclusion that we did? I have never heard a theist even try to answer that question of why God is necessary. Their answers always seem to amount to little more than, because God said so. End of story. Which I'm sure you can tell is really convincing. Morality would be reduced to a preference claim. And the morality dictated by your God isn't also a preference claim? That God's preference claim? I've never heard a theist truly address that question either. On the rare occasions that they try, they usually say something about God not having preferences because he's eternal and unchanging, which would require God to be unable to interact in any way, since interaction requires change, thus reducing Christianity to pantheism. So I'd love to hear a good answer for why religious morality isn't just God's moral opinion. But we know this isn't true because by themselves, the words right and wrong imply an objective moral standard. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say that for me again one more time. The words right and wrong imply an objective moral standard. Are you actually saying that objective morality has to exist because words created by fallible humans have connotations, connotations for you, by the way, I don't agree, that you've decided are significant? That the English language, which, let's face it, is pretty fucked up, determines the nature of morality? That's just, I, what the fuck, dude, seriously? And as I pointed out earlier in the video, humans can't possibly 
be responsible for coming up with an objective moral standard. So where does it come from? Where does it come from? In other words, you're taking it for granted that there is an objective moral standard. Prove it. I don't mind it if you leave thoughtful criticism. In fact, I encourage that. I'm not scared of debate. I'm not scared of uh, open dialogue and having my own views and beliefs challenged. Well then, Danny boy, I sure do hope you respond to this, because your argument seems to boil down to little more than, man, it sure would be bogus if it turned out that morality is subjective and relative, so it's got to be objective, and it's got to be made by God. Well, I think that's a very silly argument, and I want some answers. And I'm spent. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think.